guys, welcome back to another video. I am CIP2.0 and today I'm gonna show you how to host your bot on Heroku. Okay, so if you follow the tutorial until now, you will have the bot files. Um, you can delete the token file from now, for now. So, okay, so um, now we need to start with this. We need to make a file, a text document called proc file and remove the txt just profile yes and you need to open it you need to open it now it is gonna open and voila vs code and you need to type worker to that and node um, and your bot's main file that is index.js um, right here node index.js so you need to save it click on file save and now you need you can close it so if i am right now i need just to close this no 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 wait open this Go on GitHub, press new to make a new repository. Okay, wait for it a bit. Uh, I will put the repository name testbot. Okay, um, hosting on Heroku. Uh, let it on public and be sure this is checked. Um, you can let this like this, you don't really need it, so you need to create a repository. Okay. Um, yeah. So now you see this, you need to minimize this a bit. And you need to drag this and click on upload files. Okay. Um, Y you can delete this I guess J just delete it and copy all of these and paste this here and close this okay that was really fast okay um, it processed the, all the files and now you can press on commit changes okay now it is processing the files and we will need to open wait uh, we'll need to open heroku.com you will need to have an account for this to work um, okay so it loaded perfect test bot hosting on heroku now we need to wait for heroku to load Okay, so you need to press on the new button, create new app, and I will put the app name um, tutorial um, tutorial Discord bot. Perfect. Uh, I will choose Euro because I'm in the Europe region and I will create a new app okay so uh, as you can see the files are here so we need to select deploy method as github and after that we will you will need to type the repo name that your bot is and right here testbot just copy the title and paste it there search and as you can see it found the repository you need to press on connect um, okay you need to have this enabled enable automatic deploys click on that and now you can deploy the branch let me see what oh, should work I mean oh Okay, so it should work. Um, 
Yep, it worked. Okay. Now the app is deployed, but the bot isn't on. So, uh, we will need to do that to activate the bot. You can do that by going to the resources. Um, I'm very sure that. Wait. Few logs. Um, hmm? Resources. Okay, okay. Um, and you need to uh, disable this and confirm. And you will need to enable the worker file. Confirm. And now we let, we let it turn on. Just wait for it. It won't take too, too much. And as you go, what? What? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm very sorry. Um, I forgot to put the token. I, I don't know how I forgot that. Um, Discord app. Dot com and I will need to create um wait developers come on I'm very sorry because it is loading very damn slow but I have the slowest PC in the world okay so uh, go to developers developer portal Okay, uh, here, tutorial bot, uh, and you need to go to the, um, oh my god, I forgot, okay, uh, to the bot section, click to reveal token, copy the token, I will change the token after I finish this, you need to go to settings, Go to reveal configuration of ours. Here you need to type token. Here you paste the token and you add. And also you need to put the Arcadia token if you follow the tutorial on the trigger command. And you need to put Arcadia and the value as the Arcadia. Um, Arcadia token you, you will need to put the real token in here no one will see this as, as, you, as you can see okay so now I will need to edit something I need to go to github again uh, here okay and go to the test bot repository and modify I think here oh okay I already did that but I will show you uh, you need to uh, type this bot.login process.amv that token so the bot will work and you will need to um, you need to go to the trigger command uh, trigger and um, okay and uh, edit this too so you need to change from whatever it was to process.amv.arcadia keep in mind so now if you go to the logs you should see that um, that it load uh, don't mind this I don't know why is the name as this delete this okay whatever and now if I open discord the web version I will also need to make um, 
to invite the bot. Okay, I can feel my computer going slower. I don't like it. Okay, it is loading. Very slow. Okay, and this. Oh my god. 55 FPS, okay. I will cut this in the video. Okay. Very damn slow, okay. So go to developer portal. Applications. Tutorial bot. Or your bot's name. Go to... Uh, old right here select scopes of bot and I will just tick this and yeah you need to copy this and discord won't load wow okay now it is loading wow okay and I can close this now um yeah And I need to create a. Uh, I need to create a new server. Uh, create test server uh, here and create. Okay, perfect. And now I go to here. I paste the link. And it should pop up the test bot invitation. Perfect tutorial bot. Um, test server right here. Uh, and you need to click on authorize. And don't forget to uh, tick this chapter. Um, okay, perfect. And now if I close this. Um, Excuse me. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, perfect. And as you can see, the bot is right here. Again, don't mind the name. Okay. <laughs> and if I do um, FK, if I test the FK command, as you can see, it responded, and it is working. Um. Yeah, if I do... Okay, I can do trigger. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was all for this episode. I hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. I hope I helped you. This is a sign up now channel. And I will see you guys later. Bye.